Hello, I'm Dr. James E. Konopasik, a Professor of Applied Criminology and Criminal Justice, and I'm coming to you from my home studio here in Oregon. Uh, I want to take a few minutes uh, in this video to explain the connection between academic honesty or integrity uh, with uh, criminal justice ethics. And what you might ask is, uh, well, what does uh, academic honesty, um, academic integrity, what does plagiarism uh, have to do with being a good police officer, corrections officer, parole probation officer, victim advocate, uh, court personnel, uh, whatever profession um, you're going to enter in, in, in criminal justice. And if we think about uh, that question a minute, um, examine first, um, what does academic honesty entail? Well, it, it, it involves uh, doing your own work, you know, working hard doing your own work, um, and then giving credit where credit's due when you borrow the work, paraphrase the work, directly quote the work uh, of others. Uh, you know, when you utilize uh, that work in your in your various projects, uh, academic papers, PowerPoint presentations, um, anything that you create or produce, and, and not only is uh, giving credit where credit's due, uh, you know the right thing to do, uh, the moral thing to do, but it's also the legal thing to do. And what we must always remember is that that plagiarism uh, is theft. Uh, you're stealing from uh, the work of uh, or from someone who has worked very hard to to get their work published. Um, and so it, it's uh, frankly it's theft behavior. Well how does that relate then to um, work as a police officer, parole officer, corrections officer and so on? Uh, well, when we look at um, police, corrections, parole and probation ethics, again, you're expected to, to work hard, do your own work, um, give credit to, to your peers or colleagues um, if they've helped you on a project or a difficult case. Again, not only is that common decency, yeah, it's, it's the ethical right thing to do. And uh, it, it's also the uh, legal thing to do because whatever you write in, in your job as, a, as an officer will eventually be read by lawyers in some context, uh, a district attorney, um, a defense attorney, a judge. And of course, they're going to want to feel confident that, that the work, uh, that your work that they are reading is, uh, your own work, it's honest work based on on facts and not something that you just made up or, or some big lie. Um, so that's one connection. Uh, the other connection is that um, if, if some of you haven't already, um, during your hiring process as a, as a police officer, parole officer, corrections officer and so on, uh, you're going to be required to um, undergo a background check. Sometimes that background check involves uh, polygraph testing. And on any kind of pre-employment polygraph test, uh, they're going to ask you about uh, theft behavior, dishonest behavior. And if in school you've gotten away with um, plagiarizing, um, and actually yeah, stealing the work of others, you're going to have a heck of a time passing um, a pre-employment polygraph that, that asks you about theft behavior. So, so again, there's, there's legal ramifications to, um, uh, and, and actually lifelong ramifications to um, plagiarism, academic, is, uh, dishonest uh, um, behavior. Um, so we'll, we'll talk a lot more about this uh, in class, we'll write a lot about it. 
I will share one experience that I had uh, as a doctoral student uh, being plagiarized. And what I can tell you is that it, it's quite an ordeal to be on the other side of, of plagiarism, uh, being the subject of it or the victim of it. So uh, a lot to think about and, and write about here. And I look forward to, uh, to working more on this subject. Thanks.